Hello guys, today's tutorial is a, a continuation of the last tutorial because if you recall in the last tutorial we made the, the, the banana display in there and we made the tab value be a different one but in, and in this tutorial what we're going to do is to make the, that tab value appear whenever you tap the screen so the first thing that I'm going to do is to make a little change in the in what we did in the last tutorial so uh, this won't uh, won't affect nothing about the last tutorial. It will still work. Um, it's actually an improvement so that we can use this function that we created with other uses. So we can use this function in other places. So and the changes are putting it instead of being a void, it could be a float. And putting a a type over here. This is the return type. If you put it the float, it means that this function can return a number, a float number, so return and what we want to return? the tab value okay and what this allows us to do is something like, let me show you over here for example if I have here a float called whatever and I make it equal to that which was the screen tab then the whatever variable will, will be equal to whatever this returns anyways with this in mind I'm now going to create the text that we want to display in the screen so first off click in here so that nothing is selected and go and click right click to go into a UI canvas and we create a new canvas and we want to make this canvas in world space so that you can move it around you know and it's not dependent on the screen and we want to decrease this canvas but instead of decreasing like this I'm going to decrease it in the scale because we want to preserve we want to somehow preserve these pixels because we need pixels to display images and text if we had like two pixels in here for instance if I did this I now have like seven pixels and in, with seven pixels it's very hard to display something so I'm just going to decrease the scale like so and put this in the middle of the screen, zero, 0, and now if I zoom in on it, I can decrease its height and width a bit, because now it's OK. And if you see, we've preserved the pixels. We have some pixels to to display some some text or some image. And what we want to display here is a text with the number of bananas that the tab gave us. So text, and I'm going to align the text to the middle so, so that as you can see it shows because the text must be near this blue point because this is the center of the canvas and the text and because if it wasn't imagine if you tap if you tap the screen like here then the text will appear like here but this way if you tap, tap the screen over here the text will appear right above it okay and what you want to display something like plus bananas all right and right now as you can see it's a bit uh, pixelated so to fix that just go into the canvas and increase this number a bit not much I'm going to put 3 you can now see it perfectly and I'm going to also give this an animation a fadeaway animation so first off I'm going to click on the canvas and put here and name it plus bananas and now I will to go into animation and with the, the plus banana selected I'm going to create plus bands animation and what this animation will be is the text fading in is the text fading out so click on the text go into the color and for the beginning color choose something like here it's something whatever it's fine and after Alpha second, we want the text to be invisible, so change the alpha to be zero. Okay, and right now this is the animation. As you can see, you know it's good. It's what we want. So click here to stop recording the animations. And now, because we don't want this animation to loop, I'm going to go here into the plus animation, plus band animation, which shows the animation that we just created, and uncheck loop time so that now it doesn't look and once that's done I'm going to copy I'm going to drag this into the prefabs so into here 
and now we can use it as a prefab in one of our scripts and that will be in the touch stuff script and this, we have changed this script a bit in the last tutorial and we're going to change it again remember that in the last tutorial we had here a variable called i and now we have this which increases the total number of bananas and remember that we have now modified this to also return a float and we're going to use that to our event advantage so remember what we want to do we want to instantiate this plus bananas thing into our screen and to do that we have actually made something very similar when we instantiated the slashes so as you can see here we found the, whatever the position was of the touch and we instantiated the, the, the slash in that position and we're going to do the very same thing for this game object so let's first create an instance for that game object so public game object plus bananas there we go and now let's instantiate it instantiate plus bananas with the same position of the slash world pause and we want to, to have no rotation so quaternion dot identity and now we have this but that's not everything that we need we also need to change whatever it's saying because right now we're instantiating something that says plus bananas and what you want to see is plus the tab value so we have to create here a temporary game object that will receive whatever this instantiate returns because if because as you can see it returns a clone object of the original and we want to be a game object so let's make it equal to a game object called say plus band equals whatever we instantiated as a game object and now remember we are we have this and we want to access one of his children and find a text script component and change the text so to do that now we, uh, before, we already have here whatever we instantiated so in that thing we want to find a component in the children so get component in children and we want to find a text component and we want to change its, its text parameter so we're going to make its text parameter equal to plus and after that we want to show the tab value and that as you may recall is given to us with this function so I'm just cut the function from here and paste it here hit save and now if I go into unity and we have to drag that plus bananas prefab into here so prefab plus bananas put it in here and we can delete this one in the screen delete it and if I hit play I'm going to click on the screen or to tap and as you can see it appears the number of bananas that you are receiving and right now oops and right now it's only one but but in the banana header remember that in the last tutorial we made some kind of upgrades so if I click on upgraded touch if I make that active now it gives us two two bananas per second now, now it gives us two bananas and that's cool and you know if I buy some items so let's buy some items and close this oops and now if I click on depend on items which is also another upgrade that we did in the last tutorial and if I tap you'll see that we now gain some other number of bananas and it's working fine uh, now uh, there's two last things that I'm going to do which is first add a script that makes whatever this is go go up in a slowly go up and that also destroys this stuff all of these clones that we created and thus this second part is easy because we have already created a script that does that so just click in the plus bananas prefab add components scripts and we, we created a script called destroy it uh, not so long ago and we want to destroy the bananas in how much time two seconds is fine this is a simple script, I can actually open it 
it just destroys the bananas after some time, you know, simple stuff. And I'm going to create that, strip, that script that makes it slowly go up. So, new script. I'm going to call it One Direction. And it will have a, two public variables. Public uh, float, which will be the speed. And have a public vector free, which will be the direction. And you can make this by default to go up, so so that you can so that you don't need to change it. Vector free dot up, you know. And with this, we want to update the, the transform dot position to go in whatever direction we set it to go. So transform dot position plus equals. Meaning it equals to the last transform position plus the direction times a certain speed. And save it. And if I go into Unity and I wait for this to update, okay, now we have this. It is set up by default to go up. You can change it direction to whatever you want. And I'm going to change the speed to go to be one. Let me see if that's too fast or not. And we have now already added these two scripts. And if I, hit, if I tap the screen, it goes a bit too fast, but it does a, uh, other than that, it does exactly what you wanted. As you can see, they are being, they are disappearing. And all I need to do is to find a good speed. Let me see if this one is fine. Okay, this is fine. So just stop it. And that's basically it, guys. So uh, thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.